Hello everybody, welcome to MC Amakos FM channel. This is Sunil M. Jody. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for the love, for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys. I truly appreciate you. I thank you for everything that you continue to do for me. Thank you so much. Thank you for engaging me. Thank you for challenging me. I'm growing uh, as a YouTuber. I'm growing as a content creator. All because of you, all because of your love, all because of your support. Truly, 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 I thank you guys. So guys, today I'm going to be talking about Gamuhelo, uh, Gamuhelo Mathati. Gamuhelo Mathati, apparently there are rumors that are saying that, hey, this guy is leaving Keza Chiefs, is exiting our team. And I'm looking at the number of days that are left for us to either sell a player or to negotiate with a new player. I don't know. But for me, numbers... Or the dates they don't look good for us i mean the window is closing on the 22nd that's like now next week that's like next week and already we are talking about terminating a contract and we know that we are terminating fc we are always terminating contract we are sucking or we suck when it comes to negotiating deals with players or negotiating deals with other clubs for us to be able to get a player that you want so you can swap for example, at the moment we're looking at this guy, uh, we are negotiating, we've been negotiating and uh, apparently for like uh, twice Chiefs has went back to Stellenbosch and Stellenbosch they said no, we want so much money and it looks like it's quite a ridiculous amount because we haven't made that decision, we haven't agreed on that decision and guess what, guess what, Orlando Pirates have joined in to say hey, we're also interested in this guy um tattoo. so they're also interested in tattoo now but yeah first things first let me just dig deep to this guy Kamohelo. Kamohelo joined us last season the beginning of last season under coach zwane and we signed him for three years and by the look of things he's only gonna be there at keza cheese for a season and a couple of games in if we are to terminate his contract why are we terminating his contract it looks like he's not in the coach's plans and when i said this earlier on was it last year but earlier on when i started doing youtube one of the guys that i know from our school that we attend with at uh this institution i'm gonna i'm not gonna name the name of this institution he said uh, basically you can say that he insulted me in a way but yeah he told me that i don't know football i don't know this guy i'm quick to judge this guy and whatnot and i said to him look dude players who are good when we play in these tournaments kasi tournaments it does not automatically mean that when they get to a stage biggest case achieves and i think people has have forgotten how massive our club is and probably the management have even forgotten how massive our club is that's why they're cheating us the way they're cheating us that's why that they're signing average players that they did not really scout that they saw playing for other teams that were giving us hard times and then they said no we want that player and that one and then come and play for Kesa Chiefs I don't know if they do their research it talks about also the scouting side of our business which is poor which is poor I cannot overemphasize the fact that our scouting business is poor I don't even know who's doing our scouting the way that we are so poor we don't have a scouting uh, team and if even if it, there is we're still making blunders so therefore it seems as if with that team is non-existent because we are signing average players hence we are terminating so many contracts because we are buying players who cannot play for a big team like ours one will ask but who then can play for our team it's the guy who can take the team to the next level simple it's the guy who can come and edit great simple it's the guy who checked this guy like for example castilla i'm gonna speak about castilla a bit castilla you can say that guy was really scouted because he's not a South African and he has hit the ground running from day one. This guy has been on top of his game. Yes, he has his own flaws and whatnot. And, 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 but that is a good scouting guys because this guy has come here and he's been marvel to watch. He's been playing well for us. Yes, I am not saying that he's all that, but at the moment, He's the guy that who's on top of his form. So that is good scouting. 
this guy is playing well for us, has scored even three goals for us. And then you come to talk about Kamuhelo, this guy, Kamuhelo Mathat, and then you say he's a top quality. Probably he was a top quality when he was still playing for Spasport, top quality when he was playing for um, Swallows. Those teams are not in the same level as us. They can beat us at any given time, but it does not mean that they're the same level as us. We have a huge uh, following, a huge, 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 huge fan base, and we have a huge, huge, huge history. And these other teams, without insulting or saying anything negative about these teams, they're not, we're not in the same level as them. And then this guy, come hello. Come hello, like, he hasn't really performed for us. He wasn't really scouted, he, yeah. He wasn't discounted and yeah we are terminating his contract with two years left in his contract guess what we'll have to pay him we have to pay him uh and we give him his clearance and then he goes and play for a team of his choice why are we terminating his contracts i mean how many contracts have we terminated for the past season and past two three seasons as a club talks about bad management talks about poor scouting we are terminating his contracts we're saying that mm -mm, mm -mm, you can't you can't be in the coach's plans because the coach seems as if he does not like you. And sure, under Zwane, what did he do? I don't know. Under Zwane did not perform. Under this coach, he gave him, I think it was the first game or two, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, he hasn't performed. And in the preseason, he played against Yanga and he did not really perform. There's nothing in him. And each and every time that he's given a chance, he's not capitalizing and grabbing that opportunity board heads. You pass him the ball, it seems as if the ball is too big for him or something, it hits him and then it goes away. He can't trap. Probably he was able to trap when he was playing for Swallows and whatnot. But in this case, the Chiefs team, I haven't seen much of him to say that he's really uh, a guy that he that should be given enough game time or should, should be given a second chance. No, he hasn't performed all the games that I've watched and he played. There's no game that I say, this guy was a marvel to watch, this guy was a deserving man of the match, or this guy, yo, why is he not getting game time? There's nothing that says that about him. So, it's good that the team is not terminating. It's good that the team is releasing him, but we should be talking, negotiating, extensions uh, i mean you should be negotiating swap deals with this kind of players i mean we terminated the, this contract for sahot and the guy went back to play for the team that we should have negotiated that we get um tetra from now we are terminating this guy come ahead and we should be negotiating with this team with stellies and getting tetra as well why are we not negotiating swap deals and we terminate a contract <clears throat> sorry and then we end up we end up losing financial we end up losing financial because we have to pay this guy because we are the ones who are saying that no we can't go we, we can't continue in this contract but when we sign we sign three-year contracts with this guy so yeah Kamuhelo is on his way out probably by the time this video drops already will be out and then as you know that we've been wanting Tetra for a long time and apparently they say that no uh, still they don't want to let him go uh, at the, I don't even know the figures but they're saying they don't want to let him go at the price that Keza Chis is putting on the table and everyone is playing a hard ball Keza Chis is playing a hard ball Stelis is playing a hard ball. Keza Chief says that no, but it does not make sense that, say for example, you charge this guy an X amount, um, let's just say 6 million for example. He's, this guy's contract is coming to an end at the end of uh, June. So therefore, that means what? That means this guy can enter into a final contract or can sign a pre-contract with any team of his choice. I mean, if he says that he wants to play for Keza Chiefs, and there was a time where he said that, you know, no, if Keza Chiefs comes, no, comes knocking at his door, he would grab, he would grab the, that opportunity board hands. And Keza Chiefs then tried to pursue, me, pursue him and all that. Seems as if there would not be any problem between Keza Chiefs and the player in terms of agreeing on personal terms. Doesn't look like they, there's going to be any problem when it comes to that. But the problem is between these two teams, they don't agree on the price that Kesachus is to pay. 
And now that pirate has jumped in, probably Kizach has now be twisted his hand, twisted their hand. It could be. And you find that, hey, let me share something with you guys. It could be that this is the um, this is the player who went into the media or who went to these sources and said that go and press these guys, uh, go and press these guys and say that Ondo Pirates won me to make sure that Keza Chiefs that Keza Chiefs um, pays the price that Stelis wants. It could be these things they do happen. Oh, it could be the agent of this guy and said that ah, for us to make sure the case is actually by you, we'll make sure that we we'll bring in the arch rivals. We want to make sure that we, we, we name them, we name the arch rivals, and then they're going to make sure that ah, we're going to lose this guy. Could be that mind game that they are using, but it could be true that Orlando Pirate wants him. But the question is Orlando Pirates have Munare, they have Ben Muswari, they have the sense that they have Gold Rock, uh, they have team they have hmm, i forgot other players but i'm talking about cdms munare ben mutuari dongo team and then now they want this guy they want him ted so that's why i'm saying that it could be an agent trying to sell this guy or a player saying that going to the media and say that say that brother part wants me and then Kesa Chiefs will come run and say that no, we can't afford to lose this guy uh, with our Ash drivers or to our Ash drivers. So it could be that, but yeah, even if it's that, it would be a good thing for us fans because we need this guy. We don't have a CDM in the current team. People have been saying that Castillo is a CDM, and I'm like, wow, guys. Castillo is a CDM. Let me take you back. His former coach. His former coach or agent, I don't remember it was between the two. They said this guy can play CDM, but his preferred position is box to box. He can also play a 10. That's what the guy said. I think it was the coach who said Castillo can play CDM, but his position where we have played him mostly is this is, is box to box. Hence he's been enjoying going forward and scoring those goals and it's true even in the current team that Castillo is not a CDM. Castillo is able to tackle, Castillo is able to intercept but guess what even your De Jong from Netherlands, that guy from Netherlands De Jong the one who plays for Barcelona can do su such a thing, can play such a role but it does not mean that that is their preferred position. Oh, that is, the, that is their main position. It doesn't mean that. Castillo, if you look at Kesa Chiefs at the moment, Castillo and Mark, they both playing one position. They just say, okay, if you are ahead of me, I will not follow you. I will be here. But sometimes you find them, the both of them, they are ahead. Oh, they are there towards the final third. And then that's why that our defense is always exposed because no one is disciplined enough or no one says that this is my position and I'm going to play the way that uh, I know how to. We don't have a CDM, hence our defense has been exposed. Hence Castillo is able to go up front and add numbers. Castillo is not a CDM. But anyway, I'm not going to debate this, but the numbers are there. They are proving that Castillo is a goal scorer. <laughs> so he adds on the numbers there up front and then he scores. He's a good Playmaker, it can be a deep playing melee feeder that I can agree with you. It can be a deep playing melee feeder like your, your Eric Sin. That's the player who comes and then helps Casemiro, comes and takes the ball from Casemiro and then spreads it. Could be that player, but he is not a CDM. But yeah, anyway, we need a CDM, and CDM that I would prefer is this guy in He has, um, he has. Just less than, a, less than a year in his contract left now. In Jen, like I said, he can sign a pre-contract with any team of his choice. Say that Orlando Paris don't sign him or we don't agree with him. Tell me your thoughts, guys. Do you think that we can make this deal? I mean, we have a few days, a few, 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 few days, a few days to wrap up this deal. Do you think that we can wrap up this deal in time? When the guy is having a year left in his contract or less than a year in his contract tell me your thoughts you guys and also tell me do you think it's fair to let go of Kamukhelo Mahat 
Do you think it's time for him to go? Do you think that he got enough time? Is there anything that you saw, probably I did not see, that says he deserves more game time? Tell me, guys. I mean, I would like to hear from you guys. But other than that, guys, we need a CDM. We need this guy. We need Mteto. We need Mteto. And yeah, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. AFC, I'm a Kosovo fan channel. Love you. Bye.